hey everyone welcome back to another video in this video i will show you all the important html tags that you need to know you must know if you are doing a web development so these html tags so there will be a total of 30 plus html tags and if you know all these html tags then you can make a website very easily these 30 plus html tags cover over 90 percent of the websites all websites available in the internet today so these are the must known html tags so let's start with the first tag and first of all let me just quickly add the boilerplate of course and so yeah so let's start the first tag uh, you should have known already uh, it is h1 tag so as you know it stands for heading and heading one it is the largest font in the html tag and if i just write anything and save it and take a look here so let me just load it again start the server again so yep, as you can see hello is there and similarly i will just create five more tags and i will do the same for till h6 okay so h1 is the biggest font and h6 is the smallest font okay um, i forgot to add the four so yep yeah. so as you can see here um okay so as you can see here you can see the difference in the font size the h1 is the largest and h6 is the smallest and you uh, you have to know one fact that if you are using h1 in a tag h1 in your website you should include only one h1 tag in your whole website for example if you are making a portfolio okay so if you are making a portfolio then you have to write your name so i'll write here techie web dev you should not include any h1 tag further in your website that's a good practice but if you want to add another heading you should uh, go with h2 or any other h tags so these are the h tags now let's move on to our another tag which is p tag so this p tag stands for paragraph and uh, as it sounds you can write paragraph and details of anything and i will just quickly add some text over here and as you can see there is a paragraph in front of us in a fixed font size so let me just quickly do format document first for example if you want to add a bio section in your portfolio then you should go for the p tag all right so that's all for the p tag there's nothing much in that so the next tag is a tag uh, which allows you to add links in your website so as you can see the link which you will be providing you have to write it here inside this href so i am just writing a random website link and i will just write w3 school okay so it is a website to learn web development or any other programming language that you want so if i just click on this link you can see it will take me to the that website that particular website and now one more thing if you want this website this another link to open in a different tab for that you can add one thing in this a tag that is target and write blank here so after writing this target blank you will see that whenever i am clicking on this uh, link here it will open in a new tab so that's how you create a new tab all right so after this a tag i hope you understand this a tag then comes span tag so this span tag you don't have to write on its own but you have to write in a like inside another tag so for example uh, i have just written here hi my name is twd okay so this is a this is a simple line here a single line and now what i want to do i want this twt to be highlighted so what i will do i will make a span tag inside this p tag and then i will write up twd here and then i can style it so i will write here color red okay so that's how and now if you will take a look so you can see TW is in different color and let me just zoom a little bit all right so yep so now as you can see this is like most of the use cases is uh, that you have to use span tag in a different inside a different tag 
to highlight a thing so after that there comes a br tag which stands for break and it will do nothing but break a line so for example i am writing here this hi and hello so you will see this hi and hello are in the same line but as soon and if i just write hello in the next line also then also these are at the same line but as soon as i write br in between them so you can see now they are at different lines so this break tag just breaks the content in two separate lines that's all and then comes hr tag which stands for horizontal line so this is also a pretty cool way to differentiate your contents so for example if i write here um let just take an example here if i write here a food name ko uh, burger and then i'm giving a description here okay i'm giving a description of that burger this is delicious okay oops so this is delicious i don't know this failing so yep and i will just copy this down and do the same for the pizza so this is pretty cheap and now you will see we have two sections here first one is for burger and second is for pizza so if i just add a horizontal line here all right so you can see this is pretty separated and you can clearly see there are two different sections okay so that's how you can use this hr tag that's the case you can use then comes one of the most important tag which is a div tag so this div uh, stands for division or you can say people also called it container because it divides the website into containers or divisions or sections whatever you want to say so this div tag you can see i have made a burger slot and a pizza slot so i will just add this burger copy it and add it inside a div and then i will make another div here and copy this pizza inside that div oops so inside that div and save it and first of all you will see um let me just remove this from here okay so first of all you can see there is nothing much but if you want to like differentiate some sections so if you want to style this so let's say border 2 pixel solid black okay and i will do the same thing um here all right and instead of this black i will go with some red and now you can see there are clearly two different divisions two different containers in your website separated by div blocks so so that's how you can use this div block and trust me this is the one of the most important tags in html and you will use it a lot so the next tag i hope you understand this div tag it is important so the next tag is header so header is nothing but your you can say your hero section or whatever you put on the first page of your website so all goes inside your header and inside this header there is another tag called nav so as you can uh, like tell from the name in this you can add all the nav bar so let me just add some lists here so first of all i will write home then few more then about okay about and contact all right so let's save it and see so if you can see there are three uh like you can say nav elements and yep as you can see there is a list element also which i have included so this list is also a new tag and let me just quickly style them and i will what i will do i will just write display and flex to arrange them in a single line so as you can see this is looking pretty cool here 
and that's how you can use a navbar so you can add all the navbar elements or you can add a, like a search element also a search box inside this navbar and all the other stuff your company logo or anything inside this nav and the header as you i said uh all your hero section will be included in your header tag okay so for example i write twd here so for example you can see all the nav bar is under the nav tag and this whole section is under the header tag so that's the use of this header and nav tag now let's move on to our next tag which is a footer tag so as you can see this header tag is for the uh, hero section the first page of your website and the footer tag is for the last page of your website in which you will add all the all your social links all your contact information so for example um i write some list here so for example uh let's say phone and then provide a phone number okay and then here you write your insta id so you can write your insta id and that's all okay so here in the footer tag you can write all the social links and your contact information then comes a section tag okay so section tag is pretty similar to a div tag uh, it divides your website into particular sections okay so for example i just write uh, just copy this okay this whole thing and paste it here and instead of this div i will write section and here also section and save it and you will see no difference here because it just act pretty much same as that div does so there is not much difference between them so you can either use div tag or a section tag it's upon you then comes another tag which is table so if you want to create a table you know uh, in your the website okay so if you want to display some data some values in form of a table so then you can use this tag here so let's see how to work so first of all to create a table you have to create a table tag then inside this you have to create another tag called t head so after writing t head come under the t head inside the t head and then you have to write another tag called td which stands for table data so in the t head whatever you want to write write it here so the first heading is food and the second heading is price now after writing the heading you have to write the values so for values you have to write tr which stands for t rows and inside that you have to again write td which is for table data so here i will write the first entry is burger and the second one is the price so i will write here 100 and similarly i will do another row so this is the first row so the second row will be for pizza and the price will be 99 so let's see how it looks in our website so as you can see there are two columns food and price and there are two rows as well so that's how you can use a table tag in our html so after that let's see lists okay you have already seen lists but uh, let's see unordered and ordered list so what i mean by that you have to write ol and this stands for ordered lists so if we hit enter and you can write a uh, list items let's say 1 2 3 okay so let's see how it looks so as you can see it is looking something like this and you can see this 1 2 3 which the numbers are added automatically because it is an ordered list so it will add the numbers uh like in a order and if you want to change the order you can do so by using the type so you can see there is numbers letter capital letter small letter roman numbers and smaller roman numbers so let's see capital letters here and save it and you can see it will write a b c 
and let's see the roman numbers so yep, as you can see it is there so that's the order list so now let's see an order list so i'll just copy it down here and instead of ul i will write so i will write ul uh, stands for an order lists so let's take a look how it looks so yep, as you can see it is just add dots and if you want to change a dot you can do so by writing here type and add square for individual okay so if i just did that and you can see this circle has changed to dot here if you can see closely there is a square here so that's how you can change the unordered type and after this unordered and ordered list then comes input tag uh, one of the important tags and before that let me just add another tag called form so this form is uh, usually used in backends if you want to send or get a uh, like send the information to a backend so if you're creating a contact form you can use form so in the action you can like if you're using backend if you know backend you have to write a login or anything like that and then there's a method tag if you want to post so you have to write post and inside this form tag now you have to write all the contact information so for example a con uh, an input tag in which you will write your name and phone number whatever and then a submit button to submit the whole form so let's see that so first of all we will see the input tag so let's see input tag and you can see the type by default is text so let's see what it looks like I'll just save it and you can see there is an input tag here in which I will write anything. Okay, so just let's customize it a little bit. I will write here a placeholder and I will write enter your name. So let's see what happens if I just write a placeholder. So you can see there is a placeholder inside your text input text that, that is telling you to enter your name okay so that is pretty cool so you can write anything okay so that's a placeholder and if you want to like write a value here so let's say a value called john so if you just write a value here so by default it will comes with john written in it okay and uh, you can change it okay you can change it later on but it will just if you just reload the page it will comes with john inside it so that's the text one now let's see few more types here because there are a lot of types you can see all the types of input tags you can see here so let's check out password okay and i will write here enter your password and remove this value okay remove this value and uh, password okay so let's save it as you can see it is written here into your password so i'm just writing anything and you can see it is appearing in dots because it is a password so you don't want to share with any anyone so that's why it is appearing in dots so let's check few more let's say number and if i just write here and you can see i am pressing letters but it is not letting me to write any letters unless you can see you can use all these arrows also to write a number or you can just write a number so that's the number type let's see few more so let's say date and uh, yep you can see there is a date format in which you can choose any date uh, it is useful to take the dob of a user if you want so that's the input tag all about input tag i hope you understand and uh, then comes a text area tag okay so text area let's just remove this name and id from here so in this text area you can see there is a column and a row property so let's see what it looks like first so yep as you can see there is a, our text area and this is used to write a message so for example in a contact form you want the user to write his name email id and password and then you want him to write any message so for that message you should use this text area in which he or she can write anything uh, related so he or she can write anything 
and you can also change the size by holding and resizing this thing here so yep there's the text area tag then comes button tag so as the name suggests it is used to button okay it is used for creating a button so let's create a button called submit and you can as you can see there is a submit button so which has a by default hover effect all right so that's how you create a button here then let's see another tag which is select tag so if you want to add a several options among which a user have to choose only one option then you can use this tag uh, select tag inside which there is you can write option tag okay so i will write here car then here i will write bike okay so let's save it and see so as you can see there is our option tag and if i just click on this you can see there are two options car and bike so it changes to bike and now it changes to car so that's how you can use this select option tag now let's see the image tag which is one of the most used tag in a website if you want to add any image then you can use this tag and uh, in the src tag you should include the image file so let's just write enter an image which is a, a image of a burger so as you can see our burger image is now there and make sure that this image should be in your file here okay so as you can see there is our image here so that's why it is showing in our website and uh, so in this l tag you like you can write the name okay because sometimes the users internet is poor and that's why the image will not load but instead of that image this alternate text will load which will say it that it is a image of a burger so that's why this alt attribute is also important okay then let's see the video tag as the name suggests it will uh, import so the name suggests it is used to import a video in your website so it has also a src tag and let's add a video so video as you can see i have an mp4 video so let's save it and you will see this is the video so let me first of all let me show you the video here in the vs code so as you can see this is the video here which i want to add in my website but if you can see here the video is not moving okay the video is not starting so to do so you want to add one more attribute called controls and now and let's change the width also so let's say 400 pixel and now let's see what is happening so yep, as you can see the width is also there and there are controls so let's play it and you can also full screen it and then there are several more options here okay so that's how you can add a video in your website then after video let's add the audio also so this is similar to the video tag and i will add an mp3 music here and also don't forget to write controls otherwise it will not appear on your screen so let's write controls and see if it is there so as you can see it is there and you can also hear the sound also it is a background music so that's how you add a audio tag in HTML. and uh, yep i think now we are done all the tags that are important to make 90 percent of the websites in the whole internet so that's all the tags that you must know if you are learning web development so i hope you enjoy this video and if you do like this video and uh, comment to me what you want next so that's all in this video guys i will see you in the next one